What's up guys, it's Casey and welcome back to my channel. So today is part two of the beginner's guide beginner series. Today is going to be about eyeshadow and I am going to be doing a very simple smoky eye, like the basic smoky eye everyday kind of smoky eye look. It's not a cut crease or anything crazy like that. I decided to kind of go in the order that I do my makeup. So I always do my brows first. As you can see, my brows are done. So you guys have probably already seen the brow video. If you haven't, I will link it in the cards for you guys to check out as well as in the description box. And it will also be part of the beginner's guide playlist so you guys can watch them. And now I like to go into my eyes. So we're going to just kick this off with like a very simple eye makeup look. And after we finish the whole face, then we'll go into more intricate eye looks for this beginner guide. But yes, so before we begin, you guys already know what to do. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And turn on the notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. And let's go ahead and get started. We are going to be working with neutrals today because I'm thinking, you know, when I'm done with this, I'll probably wear like a pop of color on my lip because it's been a minute since I wore bright lipstick. And so there's a bunch of amazing neutral eyeshadow palettes out there. I mean, from drugstore to high end, I would say on the cheaper side, I love Morphe palettes. I can link some of my favorite like neutral Morphe palettes in the description box. Another palette I absolutely love that is a neutral is my Soft Glam palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have hit pan like crazy on a lot of those which is really the reason why I'm not using it but today I'm going to bring out an old favorite I actually just finished organizing a lot of my makeup so a lot of things were kind of like brought to my attention I was like oh shoot I just love this product so this is the Tardis Pro palette right here I loved love 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 this palette when it first came out it pretty much has like every type of neutral shade that you would need plus some additional shimmer shades in the corner right here so we are going to be working with mainly this bottom row well it's really the bottom row it looks like the top because of the way I'm holding it because I'm trying not to blind you guys with the mirror but it really is the bottom row right here because I feel like these neutrals are not super warm where they look like really red they also don't have like pink undertones as you can see this row right here is more so my favorite but I think I kind of want to do like a hot pink lip and I think that warm tone would not really complement it the way that I would wanted to you know what I'm saying so the first things first is always prime your eyelids there is a million ways you could prime your eyelids you can do it with the concealer that you use for your brows you can obviously use a eyeshadow primer what I'm going to be using today is the P Louise eyeshadow base now these come in a bunch of different colors now because I am doing a neutral eyeshadow look I am going to be using a neutral base eyeshadow primer if I was doing something super bright I would be using a white base I will say that I've noticed primers with more of a yellow undertone tend to alter the color of your eyeshadow more than a eyeshadow primer that has more of a pinky to neutral undertone. So just make sure that your primer of choice is more neutral. So what I am going to do is I'm gonna start by just squeezing some of the primer on the back of my hand. As you can see, it pretty much looks like it can be my concealer. And this is the reason why I said you could just use your concealer. You don't have to spend additional money. And I'm just going to take a brush, any brush, and I'm going to just put this all over my lids. So what is primer? What is primer going to do? Why do I have to use primer, Casey? What primer is going to do is help with the longevity of your eyeshadow on your eyes. Naturally, our eyelids are pretty oily. So what oil does? Oil breaks down makeup. So that is the reason why a lot of people use like oil cleansers to remove their makeup. Oil breaks down makeup. So if your eyelids are oily and you don't have anything as a base, what is that going to do? It's going to break down your eyeshadow. Your eyeshadow is going to begin to crease and fade and not last throughout the day like you would want it to. And that's no bueno. We don't spend all this time doing all this beautiful eyeshadow for it to just crease and go away. Secondly, it helps the eyeshadow pop. So if you are struggling for your eyeshadow to really show up like the color, one, it could be an eyeshadow that's not so great. But if you've been watching all these reviews, like, no, I know this eyeshadow is supposed to be amazing, but you're not using primer. That's probably why. It's going to really help that eyeshadow be more opaque and pigmented and really, really give that eyeshadow its full potential. You know what I mean? So definitely, definitely, definitely prime. If you are somebody with very veiny eyelids, like I have pretty veiny eyelids, primer is also going to help, especially if you're using a primer like this that is full coverage, it's going to help cover up the veins. There are primers out there that are clear and they have like more of a tackiness to them. Personally, I don't like those kind of primers I like my primer to completely cover my eyelids now when it comes to eyeshadow it's kind of hard for me to give like a general video because 
everyone's eyes are different. We all have different shapes. Some people have more hooded eyelids. Some people have more deep set eyes. You know, there's just so many different eye shapes out there. I have more of an almond eye shape. I have a bunch of brow bone space. A lot of makeup artists who have done my eyes say that they really, really like that. Personally for me, I have the most fun when people have like a lot of lid space. So you know what I'm saying? Like there's so many different types of eye shapes. So I'm just gonna pretty much show you how I do my eyeshadow. Try to give you a little bit of tips to help if you are in a different eye shape category, if that makes any sense. So the first thing I like to do when I'm doing a basic eye look, I like to start off with a transition color. A transition color is basically a shadow that is going to help all the other colors transition smoothly into each other, right? So I'm going to start that off with this shade right here, and this one is called Bold. Now your transition color should be something that's a little bit darker than your complexion, but not super dark, okay? It shouldn't be lighter, it should be just a little bit darker than your complexion, but not super dark and then how I'm going to apply it is with a very fluffy brush I highly recommend everyone have like a bunch of fluffy brushes in their makeup kit it's going to be your best friend for blending when it comes to a smoky eye that's that's the key it's just the blend 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 and blend so you can't blend no more so this is the blending brush I'm going to use this is a throwback Mac uh, 224 unfortunately they are not as fluffy as this anymore but there are some morphe brushes out there that are amazing and that are fluffy. I also have some other brushes that are good. So this is the Morphe M504 brush. That's pretty fluffy and great. This is a natural hair fiber brush. So it doesn't really hold a lot of product like a synthetic does, but you can definitely get synthetic brushes. That's not a problem. So I just loaded up my brush with that shadow and I'm going to start on the outer corner of my eye. Wherever you lay your brush first is going to distribute the most product. So we don't want it all dark in the inner corner, right? We want to focus all of that eyeshadow right on the outer corner. So what I'm going to do, do you see like this little circular motion I'm doing? It's very, very small tight circles but I'm also going to do a windshield wiper motion at the same time. So we're going back and forth like this, but doing little circles. And we are doing that a little bit above the crease, I would say. If you have more hooded eyelids and you might wanna go up and you know, kind of fake your crease. So small circular motions, but going across and back and forth. This is going to really assure that eyeshadow is blended. We don't want anything harsh. And this is why you need something big and fluffy. So going back and forth. I like to loosen up the pressure and just go right over that edge so that way that eyeshadow is blending right into my skin. You don't see any harsh lines. It just looks like a really pretty gradient effect. So circular motions back and forth. And you should have something that looks like that. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. So small circular motions. Doing a windshield wiper motion at the same time. Starting with the outer corner and going inward. Now notice I'm holding my brush towards the bottom of the brush, right? So that's going to just let the brush be a little bit looser and really just have a light hand and just have it nice and blended. The closer to the bristles you hold your brush, the more pressure you tend to have and that's when you kind of have those more harsh lines. So you just want to be just light and airy, like kind of like carefree with your brush when you're doing a smoky eye. It should be nice and blended. It's not as concentrated as like a cut crease would be. So you just want to be nice and light handed. What I am showing you guys, you can do with any color. If you want to do a blue smoky eye, you want literally you could do any color. Use the same techniques, just changing the color out. That is basically what the transition color is. And you see it's a little bit darker than my complexion. You can see it, but it's nothing crazy. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start to make this a little bit more smoky, right? So we want to go darker in color. So the next color that I'm going to use is this brown shade called Edgy. You see it's darker than this color. Color. It's not as dark as black. Ooh, it's not as dark as black. It's not as light as you would probably put the lid color. Just somewhere right in the middle. And we are going to use another blending brush 
but not as fluffy as that first blending brush because this part we want to be a little bit more concentrated. We do want it blended, but just a little bit more concentrated. So what I am going to use for this, I'm going to use this Morphe M433 brush. You see it is still a blending brush. It's just a little bit more concentrated. Like those bristles are a little bit tighter. So it's not as fluffy as the first brush that we use. A MAC brush like that, because I did start off with MAC, is a MAC 225 brush, if I'm not mistaken. It's been, it's been some months since I stopped working there, so I don't remember specifically, but this obviously is a way cheaper alternative and just as good. So I'm going to go ahead into that edgy shade, and we're going to do something kind of similar, but we're not going to take it as high as that first color. We want to start on the outer corner because we don't want it to be super dark in the inner corner, right? And we're going to do that same motion, but deeper in the crease, more concentrated. Not as high as that first shade. So starting on the outer corner, focusing it in the crease, but not as high as the first color. And going inward. Now I'm not going to take it all the way. I'm going to stop probably like right here, like three quarters of a way. So you see it's still in the crease, but it's not as high as that first color. But Katie, we need to get that blended because it's not blended. You're going to take that first brush that you use, the very first brush. You don't have to add product. You can if you want, but it can get muddy fast, so just be careful. And you're going to take that brush and where that eyeshadow that you just placed meets the first eyeshadow, you're going to go back and forth and get that nice and blended. Boom. Nice and blended. Easy. Easy peasy. We didn't add no more product. We just went in with that first brush and blended that out. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side, starting with that outer corner, still focusing it in the crease, but not going as high as that first shade. Going about three quarters of the way here. I don't want to completely like close off the eye, you know? Okay, so take that brush and where those eyeshadows be, we're going to go back and forth. And we're going to blend those two together. So you can stop here if you wanted to and add your lid color and whatever else if you just want this. But I want to show you guys how to get like that sexy smoky eye. So you can either do a darker brown shadow if you're scared of black or you can go ahead and be bold and do black. I am going to do black, right? Because hello. I like it. <laughs> I like the smokiness. I'm going to do black. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a really small blending brush. Like, I mean, small child. Like, look how small this is. It's kind of like if a pencil brush and a blending brush had a baby. This brush right here is a Sigma E45 brush. But to stay in the brand that we previously used, let's talk about the Morphe M507 brush. Because I want this to be easy. I don't want you guys to have to like go a bunch of different places. If you go to Morphe, you can literally pick up the primer. You can pick up a palette. And you can pick up all these brushes, you know what I'm saying, and do what you need to do. So that is a Morphe brush option for you. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go into the black shade. This is called Punked. And I am going to focus this on on the outer V of the eye, which is right here. And you're gonna just kind of drag it into that edgy shade, which was the second shade we put down. So outer V, so we're on the lid. We are on the lid, we're on the outer V of the eye. And we're gonna go inward into that other shadow. But I don't wanna bring it all the way in. We just want that smokiness right on the outer corner. Just like that. Now how do we get those shadows to blend together? Same thing we did at the beginning. I'm gonna take the brush that I laid Edgy down with and I'm going to blend Edgy and Punk together. So Smokey Eyes is all about going back and blending, going back and blending. Now what I like to do when I do my Smokey Eyes is I don't like my shimmer shade to immediately meet with the with the black shade. I don't, I don't really care for that. So what I like to do is take a little bit of those previous shades and kind of blend them sideways just so that way that punk is also having a gradient effect going inward on the lid you know what I'm saying so just taking a little bit I'm holding the brush like flat to my lid and I am just brushing back and forth just so that way that is nice and soft and now this is the fun part focusing on that lid in a corner 
You can have so much fun with this. You can do whatever color you want. You could do a shimmer, you could do a matte, you could do whatever it is that you want. You could do three colors, you could do one color, you could do whatever. Just literally, just like have fun with it. What I'm going to do is I am going to do a neutral shimmer shade just to keep this nice and simple, even though like the extra person in me wants to do the most, but I want this to be an easy tutorial for you guys. So in the palette, it has some shimmer shades and I am going to start it off with this one right here. This is called Glam. This is just a really pretty champagne-y kind of color, just real simple. And I'm packing that on a flat brush. This is the MAC 239. You just need some type of flat eyeshadow brush. And when I tell you like this to me literally does not matter. I have so many flat eyeshadow brushes. You can get them dirt cheap at the drugstore. You can get them pretty much from anywhere. Like just find a flat eyeshadow brush. And I am going to start by packing. So this is a little different. You've seen before we were doing a blending motion, right? Because we wanted the eyeshadows to be nice and blended and smoky. This, we want to build that color up. So when you want to build, you're going to pack, which is just literally patting up and down. <laughs> it's literally all it is. So we're going to pat, pat, pat. I'm going to bring it up to like right to the crease. Pat, pat, pat. So you should be left with something like this. Don't worry, we're gonna blend. We're gonna blend, blend, blend. I don't care if your arms fall off, y'all. You gotta blend. So just pat, pat, pat. Pack it on the lid. I'm swooping mine up a little bit in the inner corner because that's just something I like to do recently. So you should have something like that. Go in with your brush that you did like your darkest shadow with. And you're going to not add product. You're not adding product at all. You're just going to go back and forth, back and forth. So that way that dark shadow and that shimmer shadow or whatever shadow it is that you put in the lid, it starts to blend together. So back and forth, back and forth. So that way they start to blend together. Now I'm going to take the very first brush that I used and I am going to start blending the top of this because what is the name of the game blend we don't want no harsh lines we want everything literally to be super seamless there we go that is a pretty simple smoky eye now for this i love wings and i love lashes but i'm going to save that for the next video just because i want to show you the technique that i do for my wing liner and the different products that you can use for that and how to apply lashes so what i'm going to do right now is i am going to put some eyeshadow in my waterline for a look like this you can literally go from white white is going to give you that baby doll effect then you can go to a more cream color that looks more natural then you can go to a brown that's a little smoky but not as dark as like a black and then you can go black which is full on sexy sultry i am actually just going to use a brown i'm going to use the bad gal bang eyeliner from benefit in this brown color now i literally have eyeliners from every and anywhere but if you want to go the drugstore route i think maybelline ones are amazing so definitely check out maybelline if you like high end fenty mark jacobs as well as makeup forever so i'm going to go ahead and just push i don't want to pull because this skin is very delicate so i'm going to push in i'm going to look up and i'm just going to apply eyeliner right to my waterline now it's okay if it's a little messy because after i do my skin I am going to show y'all how I smoke out the lower lash line because that's really what's going to give you the smoky eye effect. All right, guys, so this is a pretty much the beginning of creating my smoky eye. I'm going to do everything else off camera and then come back to finish off the eyes. Okay, guys, and I am back with my lashes on, my liner on, my skin on, you know, the full beat glam situation. Now I'm gonna show you how to finish off your smoky eye. Now, personally for me, a smoky eye is not complete unless the bottom of your lash line and matches the top so that means eyeshadow on the bottom some people don't like it some people just do eyeliner and guess what that is perfectly fine but for me I like to do a little eyeliner on the bottom so I'm going to show you guys how I do that so first things first you need a really small detail brush this is like a pencil brush but even smaller this is the morphe m149 brush and what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of work opposite you've seen how we kind of start off with like lightest to darkest right now we're going to work our way from darkest to lightest but we're only going to do two colors because we want to keep this super simple 
simple. Now, I don't want it too smoky on the bottom, so I'm actually not going to do black, but you can definitely do black if you're going for a more sexy, sultry look. I'm going to go with that middle shade that we used, which was called Edgy, which is the really, really dark brown shade. So what I'm going to do is I am going to look up. I'm gonna make my eyes kind of crazy. And I am just going to blend back and forth at my lower lash line. So you're just gonna go back and forth. Now a pencil brush tends to be a little bit more concentrated, so it's not really gonna give you the blend that you're looking for. Right now we're just kind of focusing on getting that color down there. All right, so we have that edgy shade down. Now what I wanna do is, I'm actually gonna take that very first brush that I used, which is the really, really fluffy MAC 224 brush, and I'm gonna go in bold which is the very first shade that we use and I'm just going to blend that out now personally for me I like my eyeshadows to be dragged pretty low um, and just kind of blown out if you wanted to keep it tight then you'll just use a smaller brush but what that first shade is going to do is help diffuse that darker shade so that way it's not super harsh so I'm gonna stretch my face out and I'm just gonna place my brush right in that and just go back and forth Just keep blending back and forth. And you can automatically see the difference between this eye and that eye. This eye looks a lot harsher on the bottom, while this one is nice, soft, and diffused. So I'm gonna do it on the other side. Now how do we finish off this eye? We gotta put something in the, in the corner. Now some people like that whole Egyptian like cat eye effect where you do like the eyeliner in the inner corner. I think that is so sexy, but it's like the one thing that I struggle with. And sometimes I get it, sometimes I get it wrong, and right now I don't have time for it. So what I like to do is put something really, really bright in the inner corner just to open up my eye. And you can use a really bright eyeshadow, but I tend to just use my highlighter. So whatever is going on my face as my highlighter, I like to use in my inner corner, because it just kind of, brings everything together like ties everything together so i'm going to use the jaclyn hill bomb loose highlighter and i'm just going to use another brush that was similar to like that first brush we used just make sure it's clean because you don't want it to be dark you don't want anything dark in the inner corner it's really going to close the eye and i'm just going to press right in the inner corner and you can see that instantly just kind of opens up the eye it's all bright and pretty take my brush and kind of Blend the bottom here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face. And the only thing that we are missing is a lower lash mascara to really open up that eye. However, I don't like to do that until I'm completely done with my face because I don't like to put the mascara on and then do my setting spray because that tends to cause my mascara to transfer. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my face and we'll be right back. Hey guys, and I am back. I went ahead and I just put some mascara on my lower lash line. We'll focus on mascara when I do my lashes and liner tutorial. But this is the finished look. This very, very simple smoky eye turns super glam with this full coverage foundation and this really popping lip color. I'm trying to get back into like colored lips. Like I feel like I just became a nude girl out of nowhere and I just I just never wanted to see color ever again on my lips. But it's summertime and I feel like this is a great way to look like you tried hard. Like you do a simple smoky eye and a bold lip. Ooh, if I would've did red lips, ooh, orange, ooh, purple like now. Baby pink, hot pink, whatever. The look is going to slap, okay? So I hope this tutorial was super helpful for you guys if you are just now learning how to do eyeshadow. Uh, please leave suggestions for other eye looks that you wanna do, if a halo eye cut crease, whatever it may be. I will definitely be doing the other version of a smoky eye where it's like black wraps around, but I think I might be going somewhere today and it is really early right now. And I was just like, uh, I'm not trying to be outside at like two o'clock in the afternoon with a black smoky eye, you feel me? So yeah, I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video. I really, really do hope it helps someone. Please comment down below how you feel about this series so far. I don't even care if like one person watches this video. I just hope that it helps someone who is just now learning how to do makeup. So I love you guys so much. Please do not forget to subscribe on your way out and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.